Oh, when it all, yeah. it all falls down. This is the real one, baby. I'm telling you, oh, it all falls down. Up. Oh, when it all falls down. Southside, we gon' set this party off right. I'm telling you, Westside, Westside, we gon' set this party off right. I'm telling you, Westside, Westside, we gon' set this party off right. Westside, Westside, we gon' set this party off right. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's your boy, Johnny Tech, here with another edition of Trio TV. I'm your host, Johnny Tech. Gotta love it. All right, boys and girls, you already know what we're doing today. We're actually going to go be going off with a little bit of Bluetooth, right? We already know the most dynamic Bluetooth earpieces on the market for the Trio series are going to be the JX10. Gotta love it. That's the one your boy is always using, you know. And then it's going to be the Nokia model, you know what I mean? I love this model. And then, of course, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and keep it nice and smooth and cozy with the Plantronics 655. Boys and girls, today we're not here about reviewing uh, earpieces. We're just here to show you how to get it in Bluetooth mode, okay? Real quick, let's go ahead and show you what we got to do, all right? First and foremost, anytime you get ready to pair any Bluetooth earpiece, you always need to go to the home menu, okay? If you've been having a little problems with Bluetooth, it's very, very, very important that you check the compatibility with your Bluetooth, okay, boys and girls? But here we go. Let's do it. Matter of fact, we'll move a little bit out of the space of the, you know, the reflection because it's so bright and it's right there in the corner. And it's what we call in the digital world as a, or in the media world, a hot spot. But I can't do anything about it right now, so we're going to keep moving along. All right, it's your boy, Johnny Tech. Keep it moving. All right, back to the Bluetooth. We're on the Bluetooth. Make sure you go into your Bluetooth applications. Once you go into your Bluetooth applications, it should be highlighted whether it's going to be on or off. Obviously, if it's highlighted off, it's off. And if it's highlighted on, it's on. Booyah, done deal. All right, we're looking at device name. You can name your device right now. If you're using a brand new device, it's probably going to be called unknown or something like that. Go in there, change it, put a name on your device. So when you're pairing it, you can actually find it and locate it. Because once you start pairing Bluetooth devices, you're going to realize how fun and easy it is. You're going to want to pair everything in your household from your trio to your to your to your regular PDAs to your cell phone if you got other cell phones and your cars and, and your microwave and your, your your oven oh I'm sorry I got a little carried away but it's all good all right you get my point visibility we're gonna keep it visible just for the earpiece to be able to find you okay but keep this in mind when you're not using it or you know say for instance you don't want anyone trying to from what um, Time Magazine and Wall Street Journal and all the rest of those periodicals say about people trying to Bluetooth sniff. I don't want to hear that. If someone's out there trying to Bluetooth sniff you, trust me, they they need to get it. I mean, literally, the, the devices that they're using to the Bluetooth sniff, it would set someone off in Homeland Security. Trust me, all right? So we're going to go ahead and keep that visible just for people for the device to be able to see when you connect to it, okay? You're going to be using a keyword called pairing, okay? P-A-I-R-I-N-G, pairing, okay? That's going to communicate your Bluetooth, all right? your Bluetooth to your device, okay? That's gonna have it to encrypt one another so nothing else can attach to it, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and go to set up devices. Ooh, yeah. Now, we're gonna, two different models right here. If you got the nice, later model BMW, go ahead and set it up with it. There it's gonna go. I mean, you can actually do it from here. If you wanna go ahead and configure this with your computer, and you wanna hot sync with your computer, or your PC, or your laptop, or your Mac, or whatever, this is where you're gonna go here. Bluetooth is nothing more than a wireless connectivity, boys and girls. That's all it is. So that little zip link cable or that cable that you're carrying around, synchronizing back and forth to, to your computer, no more. Let it be done. Get yourself a Bluetooth dongle, synchronize it to your computer, no wires. Gotta love it. But what we're going to do today, boys and girls, we're going to do the headset. You'll see the card and little headphones. Oh, that's so cute. Got the little headphone icons. I'm sorry, boys and girls. Here we go. Back to the point. Hands-free setup right there okay basically this is saying that blah 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 follow the instructions and you're good to go we know that gotta love it right now what it's doing is you see this little icon right here it's looking for earpieces and because the nokia is such a dynamic device it actually is automatically in pairing mode when you first get it you don't have to press a combination of buttons on your device to put it in pairing mode when we say pairing mode that means that you don't have to press like on the job, I mean the Plantronics, what I would have to do is this right here. Let's zoom out a little bit so it doesn't look like I'm all over the screen. I would have to first turn the device on. Now that it's turned on, now keep this in mind boys and girls. I'm just going to show you how it appeared, okay? I just want to turn it on. 
make sure that it was a live model okay but we're gonna go ahead and turn it off oh yeah solid red turned off okay what I would have to do to put this in pair mode I would actually have to hold this device hold this button past the time that it turns on for another 10 seconds till it goes to pair mode booyah just like that okay and for my JX10 I would actually have to go underneath it and press a little hidden button under there you know what I mean right now it's on Let's see if we get a blue booyah I'd have to go under here and press a little button and after I press it it gets a solid blue alright but guess what boys and girls on your Nokia you don't have to it pairs automatically so the rest of you two guys you're the weakest link goodbye now back on the Nokia okay we're gonna go ahead and pair this bad boy just like this you select the device that's already in the box oh yeah highlight it oh it went off on me it's all good got you back select it go ahead and go to OK once you go to OK it says connecting put in your secret code four zeros zero 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 don't tell anybody my code I'm just kidding. Everyone uses the same code. Every Bluetooth device on the market is going to be four zeros. It's not a passcode, boys and girls. It's only used to encrypt one device to another. Once it's done, it's going to pair lock on to each other. No one else will be able to listen to your conversation when you're talking to grandma or that significant other or that secret significant other. But I digress. Booyah. All right, boys and girls, keep this in mind. Anytime you get your Trio or your, your 650 or your 700 paired up, it's always going to look a little different, okay? The 650s, you all aren't going to have the headset right here, okay? Right there in the corner. I don't know if you guys can see that, okay? See if I can get that there. Oh, yeah, right there, okay? You all aren't going to have the headset. You're going to have the regular Bluetooth circular um, little icon that's usually there or whatever. Oh, yeah, that right there. But back to the 700. You guys are going to have a headset which means it's always on standby mode okay in the moment that you get ready to make that phone call we're gonna go ahead and go there and we already showed you before how to do the shortcuts so I'm gonna go ahead and call someone at 156 a.m. and see what they're doing they probably might not answer the phone though so we're not gonna call them okay we're gonna call voicemail on them what I was saying so we're looking at the Bluetooth that's the connectivity to the Bluetooth okay that's the Nokia BT 800 very very simple to set up boys and girls like I said uh, get your Bluetooth go through your settings go to your home menu or you can always just tap, tap the little icon right up there booyah it takes you right to the application right to the menu Bluetooth set up for 2007 it's your boy Johnny Tech get at me